Hi, and welcome to another episode of Flyer Die. I'm John Biggs. I'm Jordan Crook. Today we're talking about the New Beats Music app. This is Flyer Die. Let the beat drop. My, my musical taste stops at basically like Big Bill Brunzi. Barney. Bar um, <laughs> Barney. So the New Beats app. It's an app and it is competing with Spotify and Pandora and Songza and pretty much all of those. 9.99 a month. It's 9.99 a month. You get a seven day free trial with no credit card sign up. So that'll get you right on and in. It's got a little fun kind of onboarding process. Daryl, mm -hmm. who wrote about Beats, thinks that the onboarding process is annoying if you're just trying to get to the music. But no. I think that this is the kind of thing for, this isn't for like the Spotify user. Well, it basically allows you to pick like the genres that you like some artists that you, you like. You can knock out the artists that you don't like. So if you like get Whitney Houston in there, who's just awful. Oh God, Whitney Houston, RIP, come on. Oh, she's dead? Yeah, she's dead and also amazing. I don't know, whatever. Uh, the Bodyguard, I never watched that movie. I think our relationship just changed no, in a fundamental didn't. It way. No, it didn't. I don't even like Michael Jackson. First, it asks you to knock out genres you hate and to click on genres you like. There's fun little bubbles that move around. Same thing for artists. And then it kind of has an idea of what you want and you have to work at it, obviously, to um, to curate that in even more. So there's four different tabs. The first one is just for you and it comes from those selections that you made. It gives you just random playlists. Mm -hmm. These are created by humans, by the way. And then you had this sentence thing where you say, I'm looking for... I'm at the gym and feel like waking up with your mom to smooth jazz. And it's like kind of fill in the yeah. blank thing, a, a Mad so Lib I, style. So you fill it in, you get, a, you get a bunch of things. Then you also have different sort of, there's something like a songs a sort of situation where you have well, that is a for celebrate. That's, type that's, cell that but, is. I but mean, that allows you to do... It's this time of day, this is the activity you're doing, mm -hmm. this is the genre you want. That's but I think that's, I think that's more clever than Songza. You think this is of, more clever? I think that is. I think this is stupid compared I th to I actually like that because so in Songza you say, I'm cooking dinner with my wife and I would like s some hot jazz. And there's four playlists and then none of the playlists have anything to do with anything. I don't think Songza is doing a very good job. I think this is better. Okay. I disagree. I think that this is a little bit nonsensical. There's a lot of information that you have to input into this. There's four different things that I have to answer before it'll give me a playlist. Whereas songs is serving up stuff based on what it knows that I'm doing and things that it knows that I've done in the past. Um, so I would vote on Songza above this, also because Songza is free. Yeah, well, that's another thing. Um, this, this is, is ten dollars. Ten dollars a month. Ten dollars a month. Um, I mean, it's it's fine. It's a fine entry into the market for Beats. It's got a big brand behind it. Um, lots of headphones running around. I like the app. It's a nice app. It's cute. Uh, it's well designed. It's we'll well just designed. have to kind of see how it plays out. Yeah. I mean, this is a really competitive market right Does now. Does the world need another music streaming app? Probably not. But I can Does imagine it mean the that, ones that are out there yeah. right now. Does it need better not. ones? Like RDIO is just kind of a flat thing. You just play stuff. Spotify is the same way. You just play stuff. No, Spotify is not a it's, flat it's gotten, thing. You have to go in and add a bunch of crap on Spotify do, yeah. for it to know anything about yeah, you. Got, you have to be an intensive music lover and discoverer in order for that to work. Whereas Beats, I think, is opening up to a, a person to that a more says, casual. I want to listen to music and I have no idea what I want to listen to. All right. So there we have it. Uh, I'm giving it a fly. I like the app. I don't like some of the, some of the portions I... I don't like the genre activities kind of stuff, but I did like that cute little sentence thing, and I do like the selection that they have right now. I'm going to give it a die. I think that this is for a casual listener. This is for someone who doesn't know what they want to listen to, and $10 a month is just too much for me. Well, for $10 is like a that. little bit much, so, sure. um, I'm not going to pay $10 a month for something casual. So that's where we land. But they can grab a new audience. I mean, the people who aren't using RDIO or Spotify may eventually want to use this or the iTunes radio kind of thing, which hasn't really taken off yet either. And maybe we find out with time that Beats is much better at kind of figuring out what you like. I mean, has anyone really cracked that code yet? We're not quite sure, right? Does no Pandora really do it? Does Songza do it? So maybe we were just waiting for the right, you know, technology for it. I don't know, but we'll see. So there you have it. One fly, one die. I'm John Biggs. I'm Jordan Crook. This is Flyer Die. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.